today's video is it's going to start with the songs I've been obsessed with. Um, there's three of them. It's Dying for Your Love by Snow Allegra. Sam Smith Pray. And Stand by Donnie McClurkin. Um, today, I really just want to kind of talk about depression for real. <laughs> like, um... The reason I didn't originally post is because my hair, like, hair depression is real. And if my hair is not doing what I want my hair to do, I become so sad, like, so disconnected, so dramatic about it, too. But we're shifting in, you know? So originally it was my hair. And I was just pushing it off, pushing it off, pushing it off, pushing it off. It took me four days to do this myself. Parted myself. And I wish I could insert a clip of what it looked like the first time I did my own hair and now this like I'm very proud of myself but you know some things have transpired and due to like it not really being my business to tell you know I want to just be like offering up like that but I will talk about more so how it affected me because it's my channel <laughs> my video um if you know anything about me you know that me and my family are not like super super close but we do care and love for each other we just so happen to be like separate worlds you know people grow apart and we went in different ways and i've been watching um my family kind of develop for years and i've been sitting and watching how they do things when they do it why they do it now that i'm an adult i can adapt some of the things that they do and also like choose to do something else because i feel like something else would work for me and then the last couple of days or so i've been kind of out of body in the sense that like i feel like i'm by myself and every time i feel like that now since 2021 you know, God has put these people, certain types of people in my life, my chosen family, if you will, my friends from college and things like that, in my life to constantly remind me that I'm not by myself. Um, I was like really going through it this whole weekend and the first half of this week. Um, and I really didn't know why until like Monday. <laughs> like I didn't know what was wrong with me. And it just kind of connected. And I talked to my friend, Danny and listen to her say like this is what we are going to do this is how this is going to work really got me together like just listening to her reassure me in a way that like i didn't know was possible because i'm an isolator when things go wrong i have a tendency to only i can fix it and if i don't do it it won't get done right duck off <laughs> so but for some reason, I felt so compelled to just call her and just like kiki for a second because I really like, I really needed to get out of my mind. I really needed to get out of my head. I really needed somebody to hear me, you know? So that's why I didn't post again because I was super in my head. And then today, not maybe 30 minutes ago, I have a friend named Parker. He gave me a phone call. And just hearing his voice kind of made me feel like, safe if it made me feel like I, I had some place to go I know that there's someone who can love and care for me because the people you typically reach out to you know moms aunts things like that are for me my mom my mom I can always reach out to she but at this moment in time <laughs> I can't reach her and it's not settling on my spirit very well um, but my aunts and things, they're kind of like, you know, they, they're kind of developing their own situations. And I never want to, like, make them feel like they have to show for me. <laughs> so I just, like, I don't, you know, but that's, that was my, that's my own personal decision. You know? It's not really a reflection of who they are as people or anything like that. It's really just like, oh, like, I moved across the country for college. And it's like, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. And the operative word here is I. Okay, <laughs> but... If it takes a village to raise a child, it takes that same village to maintain that adulthood. So, you know, just going to say that. Um, but I talked to Parker, and it's something about those two people that when I speak, 
I feel heard and I have a tendency to just ramble. Like everything I say is just gonna come out. And as I mentioned in a previous video, I do have a partner, a romantic partner, my boyfriend, and I called him too. Um, but we do have like our own like language barriers, our own emotional barriers. And since like our relationship is fairly fresh, like we've only been together for like almost eight months. So not even a year yet. <laughs> and about nine months, if you include like the dating, the actual dating time or whatever. And I don't know, a little piece of me just doesn't want to put him out like that yet. Um, <laughs> like, just put him on the spot like, hey, these are my emotions, help me feel them. Um, so I just, I just talked to him when I need comfort and a little peace without, you know, all the emotional stuff that comes when I talk to Danny and Parker. Obviously, at some point, we're going to shift, we're going to transition. I'm working on that, but I'm like a really, like, an emotionally guarded person, so, you know. Um, but with that being said, I know, like I said, there's going to be vlogs and vibes. Currently, this is the vibe. I don't need a house it's cold outside and I don't like cold so it's not really any vlogs real and all I do is go to work and go to school um but I am online so you know, I just I want whoever hears this whoever sees this whoever is reach out to because this will actually be the first video that I share on other platforms <laughs> but I'm a little nervous I'm a little nervous um I just I want y'all to know that there are always people there to care for you, to love for you, and to advocate for you. That's been my biggest word this whole week. Advocate, advocate, advocate. Advocacy, because advocacy. Whatever. I just, I witnessed some things this week that really just had me feeling like there are people in this world, and I know there are people in this world who feel like no one cares about them, no one loves them, no one wants to hear out, hear them out, and things like that. That is not the case, okay? <laughs> There's always somebody, and what I decide to do for my, the rest of my life is be that somebody for every person I meet. And I'll try my hardest to without taking on too much baggage and forgetting myself, but I don't want this platform to be one of those like very just like shallow very surface level type of situations i openly welcome anything that comes away and any people i meet whatever the case may be but if you're coming this way just know this is what it is okay i'm trying my hardest to love unconditionally i'm trying my hardest to care i'm trying my hardest to trust to be trusting to trust others to have people trust me you know whatever the case may be i really just want to be in a space where when i give to people they feel comfortable enough to not only take from me but also don't feel like they have to give back to me like it's not always necessary because i do have a very solid foundation i have a very great support system and i just i don't know i've been thinking about that a lot lately and i wanted to come back on here when i did look crazy as y'all know, I don't know how to edit. <laughs> I'm not there yet. So this is this will be the end of it. And this was so great. Peace.